So Paul, you just finished by saying satellites are obsolete. So why do we spend half the budget on communications? So point to point fixed communication satellites, yes, you can do it better with fiber optics. So if you just phone calls across the Pacific Ocean. Yep. Um, however, there are many situations where you can't use fiber optic cables. And the most obvious one is communicating with mobile objects like That's ships right. or planes. So I guess if I'm not stationary plugged into something and I still need to be contacted, you can't build a cable to me. Yes, so the idea might be, let's say you're trying to ring up the pilot. Um, again, you can't mean it that have line of sight because <laughs> the Earth is curved, but you can send a signal up to a geostationary satellite and down to the down to it. And this is a large part, so-called mobile communications, yeah. things like InMarsat that does communications with ships. That's right. Allows the sailors to ring their families up. Uh, but of course, the major purpose of this is the military. Yes. Because you're going to have large numbers of troops going into some area. They don't want to be dangling fiber optic cables <laughs> behind them. Um, they give away the position. And the fighter planes yeah. and uh, tanks and things rumbling. So you have large desert. groups of things moving in different directions at different times, which means you need something to relay that. Yes, so this is important civil, but even more important to the military side of the budget. Which is also why that military was half the budget in spinning communication. Yes. The other thing is communication with remote areas. So yes. here at Outback Australia. And if you're a, in a farm out here, uh, then it's... Probably not a lot of cables lying to your house. Yes. And it could it's a cost-benefit thing. Yes. That the cost of running a cable out to every homestead in the remote outback or yeah. in Siberia or remote Canada or wherever it might be, it might well be cheaper to use satellites for these, the 1% of the yes. population that's most remote. Exactly. And of course, as the cost of communication is going down, it becomes more viable to yes. do it this way. So these are all good things. The other situation where it's useful is one to many. Oh, okay. So this is like satellite TV and satellite yes. radio. So let's imagine rather than having a, t a phone call, yep. you just want to broadcast trashy TV into millions of homes. And whoever wants to watch it can. So the traditional way to do this is to build TV transmission masts all over the country. Yep. Um, but that was all heavily regulated. And so in a number of countries, the satellite TV took over where uh, you could send your signal up to a satellite and then broadcast mm. it down to, in a broad beam to cover a large area. Yes. And anyone in that area that put a dish on their roof could pick it up. That's right. It wouldn't need to be such a big dish because they're just trying to get one way yep. incoming. They're not trying to send lots of communication. And you're, only transfer, and you're only sending one signal at a time, so you really don't have to be that complicated. Yeah, and you need a very big spacecraft at the top because that's put a lot of power. Yes. Uh, to have enough power that you can actually pick up the signal with a dish like this. But this is the biggest part of the commercial space industry is mm. satellite TV. Um, and spin-offs like satellite radio, mobile communication, yes. and so on are all important things.